Hey guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. So we are getting very close to the Super Bowl. So tonight I am going to be making a ketogenically friendly dip and it is going to be seven layer dip. So come along with me and let's get started. So seven layer dip is very popular been around a long time. Um, sometimes you can even find it pre-prepared in delis and things like that. But traditionally a seven layer dip has a refried bean layer as its base. And so tonight I'm going to be giving you a low carb option for that made with cauliflower. So this recipe is inspired by Melissa at I Breathe I'm Hungry. She is the one that came up with this. And so that is what we are going to be making tonight. It would be very nice for you to bring it as a dish, if you are asked to bring a dish, to a Super Bowl or upcoming party. Additionally, it's just something nice that you could serve for any occasion, potlucks at work, baby showers, bridal showers, any of those kinds of things where you're asked to bring an appetizer or some kind of dish. Because most of the time, these kinds of things fly off the table the most quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. To start our seven layer dip, we need to begin making the faux bean or faux, faux refried bean mixture with our cauliflower. And so we need to puree that up because we want it to have that smooth consistency like refried beans in this dish. So I need four cups of cooked cauliflower. You need it to be cooked because you want it to soften. So I'm going to put that into my blender. You could use a food processor for this step if you wanted. Make sure that it's well drained. We want these to resemble beans in flavor, not just texture. So we're going to be adding a few ingredients to make them seem like refried beans as far as seasoning and creaminess. So the first thing that we are going to need is two tablespoons of mayonnaise. We need three tablespoons of heavy cream. We need one tablespoon of a light tasting oil. I'm using avocado here in this step. That's one tablespoon. We have our powdered seasoning. I have one teaspoon of Creole seasoning and I have one teaspoon of cumin. Now to make it even more Latin in flavor, I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And you just find this in the Hispanic aisle of your grocery store. And it's usually towards the end of the salsas. They make different brands. I'm using La Costena in here, but um, they're usually less than $2 for a can and I want three tablespoons of that. So now we're going to puree this and make it smooth and we might need to push it down and stir it around with our spatula. Minus stir. So we need to make sure that all of the cauliflower gets pureed. Okay, you can see in there that it resembles refried beans, and that is what we want. You can see that it still has some texture, and that's good. And you can also see the pieces of the adobo pepper. So the name of this being seven layer dip, we are going to layer our dip into a serving dish. If you have something round, that's great. It's really nice for presentation if you have something clear, just so that when we're finished, you'll be able to see the layers and people will know that it's a seven layer dip. So I'm just going to start in mine. Mine is an eight quart casserole. And I'm going to put our 
pretend bean layer down first. Just smoothing that out to create our bean layer, if you will. Okay, so there's our bean layer down. Now the next layer in our seven layer dip is going to be the avocado layer. So I have two cups of mashed avocado and I have put a little bit of lime juice in it, salt, and garlic. You can season your avocados however you prefer but I've just made it fairly smooth for dipping. There, you can still see that there's a little bit of chunkiness to the avocado and that's what I prefer. But of course, do your avocado however you prefer. So because we are in the dead of winter right now, January, heading into February, avocados can be hard to come by or they're cost prohibitive or they just don't really look very good. So if you cannot find decent enough avocados to make two cups worth of guacamole, um, you can buy a prepared avocado dip on the shelves of most grocery stores. You just need to check for the ingredients, make sure they don't have sugar, and you know, make sure that you're getting a quality product. But that is an option for you here if you find that you cannot find decent looking avocados in your area this time of year. Right on top of our bean layer. And once again, we are going to spread that around, trying not to disturb the bean layer if you can, because we want to keep this really pretty for serving, especially if you're uh, taking it to a party or if you're having guests over for the Super Bowl. So just try and spread that out as evenly as you can. You can start to see that we've got layers going on. So the next step that we want in our dip is sour cream. That is our next layer. And I want about two cups. You can just eyeball it. Um, I've got 24 ounces here and two cups is about 16 ounces. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and spread it around in a similar fashion like I did with the avocado layer. to my sour cream layer, but you know, there's no perfection here, just trying. Because we are going to cover this particular layer with our vegetables. So there's our sour cream layer. So that's three, three layers of our seven layer dip. Next, we are going to put in some chopped tomatoes. And I have about two cups chopped here. If you don't care for tomatoes, you don't have to put tomatoes in. That's completely up to you. If, you, if there's a, a particular salsa that your family enjoys that's low in carbs, you could also substitute that here. But I'm going to be putting in tomatoes. I'm just going to try and sprinkle those evenly. Making sure there's tomatoes in all the corners because you want this um, when someone takes a dip out to for it to have all of the flavors in it if possible. So because I'm using regular raw tomatoes here, they're fairly flavorless, I'm going to salt these a little bit and I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic and some ground cumin just to make sure that they taste very flavorful. So I just am going to put a little bit of garlic powder on it, just evenly over the tomatoes. And then this is my ground cumin, so I'm just going to sprinkle. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt, like I said, just evenly over the tomatoes. And I'm also going to add a little bit of black pepper, just so that our tomatoes have a little bit of flavor. So our next layer is going to be um, shredded cheese and you can put as much cheese as you like. 
Um, I am going to be putting about a cup. This is two cups because I grated extra, so I'm not going to use all of this, but I'm going to sprinkle it evenly over our dish. And I just have sharp cheddar here, but you could use a Mexican blend cheese if you liked. Um, any kind of cheese that you or your family enjoys would work well in this step. And I'm just lightly pressing this down. Our sixth layer is going to be sliced black olives and I'm just going to sprinkle those evenly over the top. As I can, you know, as evenly as you can with olives because they have a mind of their own. So the seven in our seven layer dip is going to be green onions. So I have about three chopped scallions here and I'm also going to sprinkle those evenly over the top. If you don't like onion, you could absolutely skip that step. Or if you know that your guests aren't fond of onion, you could skip it or you could put it on the side if you preferred. Okay, so there is seven layers. Now, I'm going to add an extra layer, number one, because I'm extra, and <laughs> number two, because my family happens to enjoy the taste of cilantro. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on the top of mine. Once again, some people absolutely love cilantro, some people it tastes like soap. So use whatever you like. If you don't like the cilantro, you can omit it, you could put it on the side, whatever you would like. But I am going to put a little bit of cilantro on the top of mine for garnish. So here it is, seven layer dip. Well, eight if you count my cilantro. <laughs> but you can see how pretty it is when you hold up the dish. And that's why it's really nice if you can find a clear container for your dip, because it makes really pretty presentation. And, and then also people will know that it's a layered dip. I'm getting ready to dish up some dip for CJ to have his taste. And I just have a little serving bowl here with a Latin theme. It's got chili peppers on it and I have some pork rinds for him to dip with. And I'm just going to get out a serving. Trying to get all the layers for him. Okay. And that is about a serving size right there. Hi, baby. Hi. We are having some seven layer dip tonight. Yes. In anticipation of watching football a couple Sundays from now. Yep. And I gave you some pork rinds. Okay. Well, it certainly looks like seven layer dip. You know, I asked Sarah, what are we going to do with all this dip? <laughs> and it's a lot of dip. So, I hope people realize that they shouldn't eat all this by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely share it. It's good. I like the onion. Yeah. I mean, I like the whole dip, but for some reason the onion tastes really good on top. It's good. I wouldn't know the bottom layer was cauliflower. I mean, as far as the texture, it's mm -hmm. just like... Just like beans. Just like beans. I'm sure I could take this to work and the carbivores would scoop this up and eat it just like it was... <laughs> just like it was regular, regular seven layer, seven -layer dip. dip. Throw no. some tortilla chips down and yep. you're good to roll. Nobody would know the difference. So, yeah, I think it's good. I think people will like it. Good flavor. Good. And, um, yeah. Good job, baby. All right. Thank Good you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the seven-layer dip as much as we are going to. We hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you know when we upload new recipes. Our new recipes go up on Sundays. And then on Wednesdays, we have Keto Conversations. 
Sometimes we'll talk about ketogenic lifestyle topics. Sometimes we'll have keto food unboxings, what we eat, all different kinds of content, but that goes up on Wednesdays. So please join us there as well. We are also on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And we release teaser recipes for recipes that go up on Sunday. We also will put recipes that we have made before that we are revisiting and re-eating in our personal lives and also promoting some things that maybe we did in previous years in keeping with the same theme. So definitely join us on those platforms as well. And that is CJ's Keto Kitchen. Also on our blog, that is where we house all of our recipes that will have the nutritional information. Most of our recipes are printable. We have other recipes that you could of course look at. So definitely head over there if you need any further information for this recipe or any of our other recipes. And that is cjsketokitchen.com. So we hope that you'll come back again next time and we'll see you next week. And until then, be well. Bye.